when we put our minds to work, we give ourselves the opportunity to develop characteristics that point us in the right direction. We are all obligated to do certain things. Life is full of obligations and commitments. When you make a commitment to someone or something, you are essentially making a promise to fulfill that commitment. Commence making promises and commitments to yourself. I make the commitment to break any routines that prevent me from achieving my objectives or making progress in my personal life. Conduct an assessment of your abilities to determine how you can best put those skills to use in your life. Look for new skills while you are assessing your current set of abilities. Try to get in touch with your inner self, accept the unpleasant sensations, fears, or things that you do not like about yourself, and then look beyond these things in order to discover new abilities. Do you have a clear understanding of your top priorities? Do you have an overall perspective on all of your plans? Conduct a reassessment of your plans to ensure that you are moving in the right direction toward improving the quality of your personal life. Do not be afraid to take action if you discover areas in which you can make improvements. The final step in everything you do that will assist in making your life better is to actually put those plans into motion. How do you feel about being unsuccessful? Failure upside down is an achievement. Every single one of us will experience failure on a daily basis. The ability to learn from our mistakes and improve as people is one of the greatest benefits of experiencing failure. If you waste your time worrying about not succeeding, you won't get very far in life. The experience of falling short of one's goals is inevitable. Failure is all around you, inside of you, and waiting for you in the future. Gain wisdom from your mistakes, admit that you are to blame, and make an effort to improve your situation. People experience anxiety when they hear the word no, saying no is not the same thing as being turned down, rather, it is a constructive step you can take to protect your future. When you tell someone you won't be going to the bar, you are essentially saying that you have better things to do with your time than spend it in a building full of intoxicated people. Sometimes you have to tell someone you care about that you can't do something. For instance, if you know that you have to study, you might have to decline your roommate's request to watch television if you know that you have to make time for your studies. You should not let your partner slow you down. It is okay to say no. Rules are something that everyone adheres to. Rules are an inevitable component of life, even though it can be challenging to comprehend them at times. You are going to have to get used to expanding your passageway and digesting them regardless of whether you are willing to stand up and protest in a constructive way. It is a waste of everyone's time when people complain about rules, they don't like but don't take any action to change them. You hold the power, but you are the one who must exercise that power. The journey of life is full of tests and challenges. Every time we leave our house, it is like we're going on a test drive. Every day brings both positive and negative testing for us. How do you deal with difficult situations? It is likely that you'll do well in the face of adversity if you're willing to take some risks in life. On the other hand, if you are easily shaken by change, you will need to figure out a way to cope with the difficulties that life throws at you. Sadly, a significant number of people cope with these difficulties by engaging in excessive drug use or drink. Do not make the same mistake as these other people. In life, you have a lot of choices available to you. Every day, you will be presented with both positive and negative choices. It is inevitable that you'll make decisions that aren't in your best interest, but rather than wallowing in self-loathing when this happens, consult your resources to figure out how you could have approached the situation in a different way, and then make sure you do things differently the next time.